Welcome to the Colt AR-15 resource. In this video, we're going to take a look at the first of four upper receiver assemblies I bought from a guy at a gun show here a few years back. I've bought these and I've just never really looked at them too closely. Um, I'm, I was interested in looking at this one first because it's going to go on uh, my recently purchased Commando Lower. And so the first thing that you see with, with this upper receiver, it's uh, 11 and a half inch. Uh, some people commonly refer to this as commando length. Sometimes 10.3 inch barrels are also re referenced as commando length. I don't know what year this upper receiver is. And we're going to take this rail system off in a little bit and see if there's a barrel date underneath it. Starting on the left side here, it's got a C stamp and then the keyhole forge code, which is Ciro Forge. The finish on this upper is really good. Uh, nice, even color. The neat thing about this rail system, it is a Colt branded Troy drop-in rail. It was intended to be similar to the Knight's Armament M4 RAS. Colt used these for a brief period of time on early Colt SOCOMs back in the 2011-2012 time frame, roughly. See here we got the F-Mark front sight base from days gone by. You don't see those used anymore because there's only one height of front sight base used now. Flip it over and look at the other side. No markings of significance on the left side of this upper receiver. Let's look at the barrel, see if there's any barrel markings. I do not see any barrel markings of any sort. I'm going to go ahead and take the bolt carrier group out of this and the charging handle. We'll take a look at that. Cage code charging handle. So that is probably not original to the gun or to the upper. I don't believe cage code charging handles were in use when this upper would have been made. I've got a C stamp there in the bolt carrier. Take this apart real quick. Thing's still got a lot of uh, oil. Looks like it's probably dirty from being test fired, maybe. Pretty nasty. Got an interesting color there, kind of a red, red color. I really have no idea what the history is on the uppers I bought from this guy. They were all in the factory uh what appeared to be factory bags don't know if they were used at all or if they were just factory test fired Let's see if we have any markings on the bolt you can see mpc there Uh, let's take the extractor out, see if we have any markings under the extractor. Things being difficult. We have the current brass spring and black insert. So yeah, we got a C 
on the extractor. All right, we're gonna put that back together real quick. All right, so summary of markings on the bolt carrier group. We have a C on the carrier, MPC on the bolt, and a C on the extractor itself. As you can tell, looking at my hands, this thing's pretty dirty, so need to do some cleaning on this thing. All right, let's move on look at this upper receiver some more i'm going to take off the carry handle and we're going to see if there's any upper receiver markings on the rails so yeah we've got t-marked slots on the top of the upper receiver and if you look right there I'm trying to get the light on it better for you but anyway, there's M4 there on the front of the upper receiver. These Troy rails are secured with a screw on each corner here. Four screws. Um, we are going to take those screws out and remove the rail. had some comments recently uh, in some of my videos saying I go into too much detail in my videos. Well, I do these videos for fellow collectors that get into the weeds like I do. And uh, I completely respect that not everybody likes that, but, uh, you know, I'm not expecting to get a huge channel following. I'm just here to entertain others like myself. All right, so we have a regular profile carving barrel. No visible markings there, so I'm gonna take the top off. Ah, slip rings. Pretty stiff. All right, so this is interesting. First time I've seen this. Because there's no room out here between the front sight post and the muzzle device, the markings are back here underneath the gas tube. So you've got a cage code barrel. So maybe that, maybe that cage code charging handle is original to this upper. 5.56 NATO 1 and 7. Interesting. Sometimes you'll see some markings up here around the chamber. So we have an E right there. That's a uh, manufacturing mark for the barrel. I'll have to look that up. I'll, I'll put in the comments... Um, I used to know what uh, manufacturer that is, and it's it's escaping me right now, but I'll look at my notes and uh, put it down in the comments. I was hoping to find a barrel date on here somewhere. So yeah, there is a barrel date up under there. That is... Looks like 9 of 16. September 2016. So the barrel date doesn't guarantee when the upper was made or the firearm was made because a barrel can 
be made, sit around the factory for, heck, a year or two sometimes uh, before it gets used. Um, but it, it gets you close. So the markings up here on the uh, front side are, are typical. Recessed left arrow and the word up. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pause this and get this upper put back together and I'll be back with a couple of final thoughts. All right, I have the upper receiver put back together. One thing we didn't look at was the carry handle, the detachable carry handle. It has a square forge or black, uh, brass aluminum forging enterprises forge mark there. The directional arrow for the side drum is, is recessed. Um, the up and down markings here on the left side are recessed. There's nothing, uh, Nothing out of the ordinary to note with that. So in summary, underneath the hand guard, underneath the gas tube, we had a cage code, CMP mark barrel, 556, one and seven. Uh, we had a barrel date of September, 2016. Bolt carrier marked with C. Extractor marked with C. and bolt marked with MPC. So that's a look at this 11 and a half inch Colt upper receiver. If you made it this far, thanks for spending some of your time here at the Colt AR-15 resource. I sure appreciate you and we'll see you next time.